This should never happen to another president again. This hoax. This should never happen to another president again. Nice thought, but is it even possible? Both sides are addicted to investigations, and it has been going on for decades now. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. The facts have integrity. They seek to do nothing more than to attack, attack, attack. When the House voted to impeach President Clinton, Republicans and Democrats went running to their respective corners, and many might argue they never returned. That partisan divide only widened under Presidents Bush and Obama and now Trump, each with their own investigations and scandals and controversies that went back and forth, fueled by the other side. We no. were misled that there were supposedly protests and then something sprang out of that, an assault sprang out of that. The fact is, we had four dead Americans. What difference at this point does it make? How long will it take you to produce Lois Lerner's emails? Well, Could we have that by Friday? Uh, absolutely not. Uh, was there ever a time when you drank so much that you couldn't remember what happened or part of what happened the night before? I don't know. Have you? This is the most unethical sham since I've been in politics. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that's stress-inducing, right? Here now, Trey Gowdy, former Republican chairman of the House Oversight Committee, who you saw in that montage, and now a Fox News contributor. Uh, Trey, always good to see you. Thank you for being here tonight. Um, you know, I, I, each side obviously would say that they had very good reason for the investigations on either side. But nonetheless, the tenor of these, you know, sort of tit-for-tat investigations has been something that we've been living with for quite some time. Yeah, and the next two years will be worse. I mean, if the president thought he had a cloud over the last two years, uh, at least Mueller did his work confidentially. Congress will not. At least Mueller, I think, had an open mind going into the investigation. Congress does not. Mueller, I was shocked at the, the paucity of leaks from the Mueller investigation. Uh, Congress leaks all the time. So the next two years, unfortunately, for my fellow citizens, and I say that Seriously, I am sorry for my fellow citizens, most of whom Russia is not number one or number two on their list of concerns or the Russia investigation. They're going to be living with this, except in a worse way for the next two years. All right. Well, uh, you went after Peter Strzok, and that may be where this investigation is headed next. If, uh, you know, if you take the president's campaign manager at his word and some folks who are around the president, here's an exchange that you had with the FBI agent uh, who was one of the early onboard folks in investigating the Trump campaign. Watch this. You mentioned the use of the word impeachment. That was used in the context of my not knowing what this would lead to. I was not prejudging impeachment. When I used that term, it was oh, saying Agent it might Strzok, do nothing. Please. It might lead all the way thank to you, something on the thank other. Thank you, Agent Strzok. Agent Strzok, are now you kidding? If you want to represent what you said accurately, I'm happy to answer that question, but I don't appreciate what was originally said being changed. I don't give a damn what you appreciate, Agent Strzok. I don't appreciate having an FBI agent with an unprecedented level of animus working on two major investigations during 2016. You are obviously very fired up about what you saw in those text messages. Uh, do you believe that that investigation should be the next one that's taken up? Well, I think it's going to be. I think Lindsey Graham uh, has made it clear. Uh, Michael Horowitz is investigating it now. He's That's no right. partisan. Uh, Bill Barr has expressed an interest in investigating. I would think everybody would want to know, was there sufficient factual predicate uh, for the launching, the initiating of this investigation? It'd be great, great, Martha, if we could agree we don't need biased FBI agents running counterintelligence investigations. That's something that most Americans do agree on, but Congress cannot. I mean, it'd be great if we had some unanimity. Let's make sure Russia and no one else ever does what they did to us in 2016. But you don't hear anything about that. What could be a unifying finding by Mueller, that Russia targeted us and tried to sow the seeds of discord, that would be unifying. What you'll see is Republicans going to investigate the origins, and you're going to have Schiff. By the way, he's not done with collusion. His political future depends upon there being collusion. He's going to go look into that. And, of course, Nadler and the rest of them are going to go look at obstruction of justice. So it's going to last for two years. It will not be bipartisan. Um, the Senate Intel Committee, I think, did a reasonably good job on the bipartisanship until they got to collusion. But you'd be hard-pressed to find another committee in Congress that did.
You know, you always uh, stuck up for the Mueller investigation. And I'm curious now that you've seen the report and you've seen that he definitely cracked the door open uh, to continue to look into obstruction by not making a definitive uh, conclusion on whether or not he thought there was obstruction of justice. What do you think of the report now that you've seen it, Trey? I still don't think it should have been made public. And I'm, I'm in a really small universe of people that believes that. But I think the Department of Justice speaks in indictments and not in reports. Um, if you have sufficient evidence to charge someone with obstruction, then at least do them the courtesy of allowing 12 of their fellow citizens at some point to hear all the evidence and reach a unanimous verdict. But this is like a hung jury, Martha. I mean, yeah. he, he issues the report. If you like Trump, you dismiss the obstruction. If you don't like Trump, you're going to seize on that. But there's no resolution. There's no verdict, which is why I, I was flabbergasted that my Republican colleagues thought this report should be made public. What has it resolved? It, no one's mind has been changed, and it is not the way our justice system, yeah, which the, is the envy of the world, I, I, it's not I, the way it works. I understand what you're saying. So, so it seems to me that you would you would be critical of the fact that Robert Mueller, you know, sort of changed the bar, so to speak, in terms of you know he he couldn't prosecute on obstruction of justice, but he said, but I also can't exonerate him. That many people say that that that's not how it works. Well, uh, the only caveat I would add is Mueller did not make the decision to make this report public. Uh, that was Barr. Mueller is entitled to send whatever he wants to the attorney general. The Comey press conference is what set this unbelievable precedent about discussing people that you don't charge. Yeah, I think it's appropriate precise. for Mueller to say, look, we didn't charge him and we're going to tell you, Mr. AG, why we didn't. Okay. But Barr made it go. public. All right. Trey Gowdy, yes, always great to have you. Thank you very much.